Hello my lovely ladies, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a really nice Bella Barnett haul. So I've been sent some really lovely dresses from Bella Barnett and also one bikini. I'm going to try these on with you today and showing you um, how they fit and giving you my opinion on the pieces and sizing and things like that. So I'm going to open these two up first, there are two dresses in here and then I've got another bag full of small bits as well. So I'm going to show you everything that I've got including the bikini because I now have the boost to put in one and it's a really gorgeous bikini. So let's have a look at these dresses. So there's two in this box. And the first one is a gold bodycon dress. And it is so simple, but so cute. So it's straight under the bust in like a gold <laughs> watercolour kind of effect. I don't know how I'd explain that texture on the dress. So it wraps around your bust and then it's got two simple straps over the shoulders and it's a nice sort of mini but not too super mini height. So it's like you can wear it, feel sexy but don't feel like you're gonna expose yourself. So I'll try this on for you and let you know what I think of that. So this is a very attention grabbing dress. The girls are out in full force. Um, this is the sort of dress I would only wear out when I'm with David and David would love me in this dress. He loves anything that's gold for me. He just loves green gold dresses. Um, I love it. I think it's absolutely incredible. I feel incredible. I think I look incredible and the girls are looking rather jubbly. Um, yeah, just cute. It's so nice. It's a really, really lovely, um, a grippy dress it pulls you in and it holds you and I really like clothes that do that I like to feel supported in things so maybe I should just buy a few corsets um but yeah I like how it's body contour what's it called body con yeah body contour I love the body contour part body con um ness of this dress what sort of verb would you use for that it's a verb isn't it it's a verb the right word I feel like it is um yeah so this thing I love that it sucks you in and holds you in all the right places um, and as I continue to lose this little section here, I feel like this dress is going to look even more um, incredible. So yes, this is definitely one for a keep. I mean, I'm keeping them all anyway, but um, this is definitely one I'm going to keep and wear. I absolutely adore this dress. So next up, I have another dress. This is beautiful. This is so, this is like sexy classy. I really like this. So this is when you want to be like show stopping, but you have to wear something of an appropriate length. <laughs> so this is an halter neck dress and it's like got nude over the bust area and it's all pearls all over it. And then oh, I'll get the makeup all over the back of that. <laughs> I felt like I nearly did that. Um, just get my hair out now. And then it's a pencil skirt, sorry tank, I can't give you any more, you're getting fat. And then it's a wiggle skirt all the way down, it's got split to the knee, so it's sort of like mid axi length. Okay, I'll sort the door now. And then it's got a wiggle skirt that is, it's really long, so it's below the knee, so it's mid calf, sort of just at the sexy part of your calf. And then it's got a slit all the way up the back, so it's sort of mid thigh. Yeah, very, very high slit at the back. It helps you walk, so that's excellent. And that's a really, really nice, somewhat demure, but also very sexy dress. So I'll try them on as well. So this is the longest dress in the selection that I have today. And the split at the back just cuts you off, um, sort of mid-thigh, and what well, opens up mid-thigh, and then the length stops literally at the bottom of your calf or it does mine anyway that's i'm five seven um so it cuts off literally at the back of my calf muscle so this would be perfect for a brunch this is probably what i'm going to wear tomorrow actually i've decided i really love this it's really really classy but also it's a little bit sexy as well it doesn't have any side boob which is what i asked for i asked for no side boob for these boobs and i got no side boob so that's exactly what i wanted um yeah, everything's just like kept within the space, but it's like a wiggle dress. So I think by virtue of being a wiggle dress, they're just kind of sexy in their own right. 
Um, I really like the colour. I love the sort of blush rose pink and against the contrast of the white skirt. Yeah, this is a sort of, this is definitely a me dress. This is something that I would love more places to wear this sort of thing too, to be honest with you, going out for dinner, that sort of thing. So yeah, I really, really love this. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is probably my favourite um, of the ones that fit me. Excuse the panty line, it is that time of the month and there's not a lot I can do about that at the moment. So yeah, I really love this. It's kind of nice on my tummy as well. Even though it is that time of the month, I'm not sticking out too much. I like that it's like, pulls you in a little bit. That's nice. Definitely like that about this. Um, then we've got blue dress. I love this. This is so nice. This is perfect for anyone that like watches my videos that's from Pageant World. Um, this is a really good interview dress. So it's a bodycon all the way down. It's got little padded shoulders and it's like cobalt blue. So it's a really, really good colour for interview. It's got really lovely gems on the belt there. Like an embellished sparkly belt and then the piece de resistance sleeves are quite long but they're not actually sleeves they're just like a cape so they're cape sleeves or sleeved caped sleeve yeah caped sleeve so it's really really nice and it's a really lovely demure length as well that's just below the knee and does have a little split up the back and then it has the seam up the back as well where the uh, zip runs so that's really nice i love this this fits me like a glove absolutely gorgeous so this little blue number I just love. There's nothing about it that I don't adore. These sleeves are delivering all of the drama. It's such a nice dress. You could definitely wear this for pageants. This is like a really great interview outfit. Um, it's also really good for brunch. So tomorrow I'm going to a bottomless brunch with the girls and you could wear something like this. I'm not gonna wear this because the actual topic of the brunch is themed this wouldn't match it but you could if you was going somewhere else or a different theme you could wear something like this to a ladies brunch it's so dramatic i love it um, i haven't actually done it all the way up just because i can't be bothered to struggle right now but it does it does do all the way up and it's bandage um sort of fabric so it's really stretchy and really figure hugging it's really really lovely um i don't know what else to say about it except that i absolutely love the color cobalt blue is one of my favorite colors in clothes of all time i just i love it um yeah, it's beautiful. I really like the high neckline. It's really classy. It's just giving elegant lady. So I just love this dress. And then we've got... So this is a really cool blazer. So this doesn't fit me. This is actually a little bit too big and I'll show you why in a bit. Because I haven't tried all of these on already. Um, so if you're going to get this sort of dress size down, I think I got this in an eight already. I don't actually know if they do it any smaller can find out though um doesn't say the size on there doesn't say the size on there either um yeah so this is gorgeous it's really really nice it's a very sexy sort of evening blazer dress uh covered in pearls so it's a bit like pearly king in england here we have pearly king and queen um yeah it's really nice but it's a bit big around the back um and you'd have to wear tit tape with it to cover your breasts because if you leave void it will gape so it could do with being a bit more tailored around the back area but it is still beautiful you can still wear it um, it's just not ideal um, as it is I'll try that on and show you that okay so this is the pearly blazer dress so I feel like it could have a long necklace between the breasts um, just to sort of break up the expanse of skin but for me it's actually too short um, only just skims my buttocks on the back literally just just covers my bottom um and i just feel like it i don't know i don't love the angle of this the bottom here the way it flares out slightly um you could probably get away with not wearing boob tape if you didn't have any boob tape because it does kind of stay put so this is where it's too big like on the back i feel like it's really baggy here if i go to the side it's too loose it could do with having like a stitch really to make it more fitted on the front I'm just going to hold this together at the moment um, and then I feel like that would make it actually fit your shape better as well like it won't flare out so much at the bottom if it's actually tailored a bit more um, nicely but yeah so this one size down and get yourself some boob tape for this area here
And this one was too small. This one was my first choice. I just thought this was so beautiful. And I actually picked this for David's birthday, which has been and gone now, but it didn't fit me, so I bought something else. Um, yeah, this is beautiful, but it's so, it's just, it's about half size too small where it could, it could actually be doing with, it's probably actually more, more likely, it's a whole size too small because it could do with being a bit looser because of the fabric that it is and I don't want really to like keep having to fight my way into it because you just break all the sequins. Um, but you can see it's got these like sequin tassels. Um, so fighting into it, you catch them and like pull them off. So that's not great. So you do definitely need to get your size or one up in this dress. This dress is incredible though, if you were to get it in your perfect size. So I'm between an eight and a 10. So if I was a six, this will fit me. I am planning on getting back down to a six. I'm halfway there. I say I'm between an eight and a 10. I think I'm actually more like an eight now because I have lost some weight around my stomach. Um, yeah, so I've been working out every day. So this is beautiful. I really do love the color. It's so, so lovely. I'll, I'll get into it, but I won't do it up on video because it was a struggle. It was an absolute struggle to get this to do up by myself last time. Um, it's really cute. It has got these little sort of off the shoulder little cuffs here with these more dingly dangly bits. So it is, it's a really, really beautiful show stopping dress. It just doesn't fit me at the moment, but hopefully I will be a size six once again, and then I'll be able to get into it. Okay. So this is the show stopper dress of the collection. Of all the things I picked, this was the number one thing, but it doesn't fit me. It's too small. It's too small by, I'd say, a full size. So definitely, if you're going to buy this, size up because of this. I can do it up, but um, it pulls on the zip, so it makes the zip go like misshapen across, like down your back. It creates like that air, so it bends away from your body. Um, other than that, <laughs> this is a gorgeous dress. It's really nice. It doesn't like push up the girls too much where it looks like over the top. I feel like they just sit in it really nicely, like from the side, you've got a nice sloping angle. Um, and it's got these off the shoulder little sort of cuffs, which for me are actually quite restrictive because I've, I've got such a broad back, I'm very square. My shoulders are very square. Um, yeah, so if someone else might actually find that that's okay. For me, it's not. So if I, if I do eventually fit into this dress, I'll actually end up cutting those off because for me, they're actually just restrictive. I can't, I don't feel like I can pick up a drink and yeah, I can't, I can't, <laughs> can't probably drink my champagne and <laughs> things like that. So yeah, absolutely wonderful dress if it fit me, which it doesn't at the moment, but maybe one day it will. Maybe if I get my butt into game, well, I'm doing it. I've been doing my workouts actually, and then I've been doing it every day this week so far. So I'm on the ball and I am losing weight. I'm losing inches actually. I'm toning up the stomach area. So. Maybe one day this dress will fit me, but for now it doesn't, but we can all hope. Um, okay, and then finally we have another blazer dress, and this is another one that's too big for me, especially as I'm like losing weight. Um, I might be able to get them taken in or something, but this is really lovely. It's got these lovely, like, I don't know what they call this, like ruffle pleats. Yeah, it's pleat, isn't it? It's pleat. It's got this lovely pleat detail around the front, that way, and it's got buttons. And then on the pockets, it's got the same detail. The actual pockets, yeah, they're actual pockets as well. Um, it's got padded shoulders as well, and it crisscrosses over the bust area. And again, you'd need to use some tip tape to secure that, so you don't get some nip slips going on. I'm not a fan of nip slips myself. I will try this on for you and I'll steam it first because things always look better steamed when you're trying them on, especially things that are white. Right, so this is the other blazer dress. It's a lot longer than the other. It almost reaches my knee. To be fair, it's, you'd call it knee length. Um, it's too big again. It's really nice. If I might actually just have this taken in because I actually really do like it. It's just that it's too big. Like I can grip, I can grab. Um, like an extra two inches around my waist and then it's still got room in the back and then down at the bottom I feel like that could be um, tighter as well so I can just get it taken in at the side seams perhaps and make it fit that way because I do really like it this little flap on the front I feel like that needs a little hook and eye as well um, just to stay put really because it's cute but if you let it go like that it's just gonna flop about and it doesn't really 
redo the outfit any favours. Um, but I do like it. I like that it's, it's it's like a cute little design detail. Um, yeah, other than that, I actually like if this was to fit me. I really like the sort of close togetherness of the opening. I don't like the wide ones. I feel like the long skinny is just more elegant for a, a V cut sort of blazer effect. Yeah, this is kind of exactly the look that I like really, and I've always liked um, with the boobs showing sort of here, this sort of inner, low, small cleavage area, that's what I've always really liked, I feel like it's really, really lovely, and if it fit me, it would be really, really good, um, but yeah, I'll probably just actually have it taken in to fit, because it's really, really nice, but um, if you can size down in this, size down, and then you don't have to have it taken in, um, yeah, it's just, there's not a lot else to say about it, it's a really nice fabric, it's really smooth, it's, it's definitely polyester, um, I'll put all the prices and everything down in the description box. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a really, really nice cream off-white blazer dress. It's the length in the sleeves is really nice. The length of the skirt is really nice too. There's just a few little nitty gritty bits that need to be sorted out with it. I think. Um, but other than that, it's really, really good. Really, really lovely. Oh, it's also lined on the inside as well, so it feels really nice against your skin. I just, I really like it. I'm just going to get it taken in so that it actually fits me. So here is the lovely bikini. I have already tried these ones on in here. Um, and I've tried this on and I know it looks amazing. So I'm going to try it on for you and show you as well. Because it's so pretty! So it's green. It's a lovely emerald green colour. And then it's got these lovely gems. Here. So above the bust area. And then it's got these little sort of peephole area here above breast itself and then the bottoms are so lovely these are so cute so they have like regular bottoms like sort of a small scrunch bottom like this and then the front part crosses over so you have some really nice detail on the hips and then you have these gems as well and if you wear them low enough they don't hit you on your hip bones which is also one of the reasons I don't really wear bejeweled underwear or bejeweled uh, swimwear is because they just dig into my bones, but this one actually doesn't, so I was really impressed with that. Um, so I'll try these on it as well and show you what that looks like. Because it looks so nice. So this bikini is absolutely stunning. I love all like the bejeweledness of it, and I really like this sort of harness type feature around the um, bottoms. So the actual bottoms have a little like scrunch bottom and bit more of a full, fuller coverage as well, so they're not like completely um, big Brazilian, but they're also not completely full brief either. So like, this is like my favourite style of bikini bottom shape. It shows enough without showing too much. Um, it's got the little peephole here on the actual bust itself, and then the little gems around that design. I really like this. This is a lovely colour as well. I think it really suits my skin tone. So yeah, I love it. I've got a little bit of pudginess here that's is this sort of digging into, but I really don't mind. I don't mind that to be honest with you. I'm nearly 40, so we can't win them all. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say about this bikini other than I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. I will, of course, link everything down below in the description box for you to purchase yourselves if you should so wish. Um, let me know what you think, and hopefully, I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye.